So Jacksonville State, what do you have to worry about with them? What's sort of the scouting yeah. report on them? I know you've been very complimentary of your coach. Yeah, obviously today. when you play, you know, somebody like them who's had success yeah. since he's been there, but also just his career. You know, they've always, his teams have always played really hard, um, been good defensive teams. And uh, it's a little bit of a, a change for them. And it's hard to really gauge just because they played VCU and they pressed them and didn't have a lot of success. Um, their first game, obviously, against SMU at SMU um, was a lot closer. Right. And they, they played much better, but it was still that opening early game that's difficult for both teams. Then they had a game against Brescia that they won by 60, um, which is really tough to tell. You know, they, lo they lost, you know, five of their top six or six of their top seven. So they're kind of feeling themselves out. Um, in terms of roles and things of that nature. Uh, but, you know, we, we just have to really worry about ourselves mm -hmm. more than anything, but knowing going in that these guys are going to come and compete and play really hard. I know you've always coveted in-season practices, and you had a couple here mm -hmm. this week. What did you get done? What did you emphasize? Well, I think what you get done in those practices is what comes out in the games. Mm -hmm. I think mean, coaches, you know, talk a lot about, hey, we got a lot of things done here this week in practice. Then if it doesn't show up in the game, you know, who really cares? You know, we, we have some guys that have to play with more of a sense of urgency, more of an edge, and uh, play harder and play smarter. And uh, as you grow and you get to play, if it's early in your career or it's something you, you know, you've been in a role, now you've played more, you have to be more productive. And that's what we need from all of our guys. It's part of this week focusing on getting the ball inside a little bit more and getting those guys some Yeah, touches. our inability to pass the basketball, you know, you know, Joe Tiller would always say can't and won't is the same result. And uh, I think we got some guys that struggle with it. And I think we have some guys that just have to make a conscious effort to do it. They have the ability to, whether that's feeding the post or hitting a guy when he's diving. Um, but, you know, Matt Harms, you know, especially needs to get the basketball more. I think that's, that's clear to, to see if you watch us play. But we got too many guys not, you know, seeing what's going on, especially when we're running sets. There's some reads out there that we have to do a better job. We have to keep working with. But there's also some things when we're running stuff and it's pinpoint to get the ball inside and we're just not doing a good job of executing and getting it there. So we just got to keep working on it. What do the post players need to do maybe differently or <coughs> something they need to do differently? No, I just, you know, being, trying to be the best target you can be. Sometimes it's hard because you get guarded differently and uh, people will do some different things, whether they're three-quarter near full front and they're trying to knock it out entirely. So just trying to be a, a good target, uh, be legal, you know, give a good target hand. Um, take up a lot of space down there without fouling. Um, I, I think it's hard because they get into some wrestling matches, and then I think you saw it in our game against Texas, where they, they they'll pick up and they'll see the second action, you know. But that's kind of a a part of playing too that they get the second guy, and uh, you, you have to do a, a really good job of not retaliating and not getting some of those offensive fouls, even though it's it's tough and it's it's pretty frustrating. Do you know why No Joel was shooting free throws right-handed? Just he's got to stick with what you know he, he's worked on, you know, and, and obviously he's got to go through a little bit of what he went through last year. Uh, I think he just you know lost confidence in the moment because he had missed two free throws mm -hmm. and he hadn't been to the line yet. But you know he's put in a lot of time shooting the ball, and I think everybody saw what he did last right. year and how he you know he pushed through that threshold. I think he's just got to stay with it. But I think it's just there hasn't been a player that's ever played this game that doesn't go through, through a period mm -hmm. where you don't believe in yourself in some aspect of the game. You know, you try to stay away from right. you know, free throws. is isn't something you could stay away from. You know, you're going to go to the free throw line. So he just, you know, he has to embrace that and want that and just keep putting his time in, you know, outside of practice um, to help himself once he gets those opportunities. So that wasn't related to his his wrist problem he's been dealing with? I don't know, to my knowledge. So he's he's been shooting right-handed all summer, what you can tell? I don't know. You can interview him if you want. Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not a street agent. He's apparently ill, so we, okay. that's why I'm asking you. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know why, how I became a street agent. Um, You're everybody's street agent. There you go. There you go. You'd be a very good street agent. agent. Thank you. Thank you. Are. Yeah, people in Muncie. I already, I already know that. Um, but, no, it's, I, I, I think from, from my standpoint and talking with him, it's just, you know, it, you, you have to just believe in yourself mm -hmm. and what, you know. And, and what he's already done. Sometimes mm -hmm. when you haven't done it yet, it's really hard because you know you haven't had that level of success. And you know what he did for us last year when they fouled him on purpose three different games and going 17 for 18. You know, that's to me that, that that's the point of reference. You know, right. don't don't get away from that. You know, feel good about the fact that you've already done this 
and now you just have to get up there and stick with your routine. And a lot of times guys get into those modes when you have a little bit of doubt. And obviously our big guys in the Marquette game, you know, they're one for 11. You know, it's people say, well, you guys didn't play well. Well, they make our free throws. I think the game changes if we make our free throw, free throws. So, um, but no, it's just, it's just getting up there and not worrying about hitting and missing and, and doing your routine. Right. You know, stick with your routine and do your routine. But do you know if he'd been shooting right-handed this summer? Not to my knowledge. He's he's right-handed. Right. So and, and right. so like as he grew up, like he's always <laughs> shot left and right-handed. Okay. But like his free throws, he's always to my my impression is that he's always you know shot them left-handed.